What's your favorite creative activity? Have you ever noticed how it affects your mood? The world of creativity is vast and diverse, filled with a myriad of activities that can light up our minds and bring joy to our hearts. From the gentle hum of a melody to the focus of crafting, creative activities have an uncanny knack for brightening our days and lifting our spirits. But did you know that these activities do more than just make us feel good? Recent research has shown that creativity isn't just a fun pastime. It's also a major contributor to our mental well-being. A poll conducted by the American Psychiatric Association has established a compelling link between participation in creative activities and good mental health. The results have shown that 71% of individuals who described their mental health as either very good or excellent engaged in creative activities more frequently than those who categorize their mental health as good, fair, or poor. This suggests that creativity isn't just an outlet for our imagination, but also a nurturing force for our minds. It's a tool that can help us maintain a healthy mental state and it's accessible to everyone, regardless of age, profession, or background. So what are these creative activities that have such a positive impact on our mental health? Based on the poll results, there are six activities that stood out among the rest. These range from listening to music, which was listed by 77% of the participants, to creative writing, which was chosen by 16% of the people polled. Each of these activities offers its unique blend of creativity and mental stimulation, providing an engaging way to boost our mood and enhance our mental health. Whether you're a melody lover, a puzzle solver, a dance enthusiast, an aspiring artist, a crafting aficionado, or a budding writer, there's a creative activity out there that can help you maintain good mental health. So, are you ready to explore the vibrant world of creativity and its impact on our mental well-being? Stay tuned as we dive into the top six creative activities that can boost your mood and contribute to your mental health. Topping the list with a whopping 77% is the universal language of mankind, music. Music, an art form that transcends barriers and connects souls, is much more than just a pleasant sound to our ears. It's a soothing balm for our minds, an invigorating stimulant for our moods, and a potent enhancer for our cognitive functions. Imagine this, you're coming back from a long tiring day at work, your mind cluttered with thoughts, stress levels peaking, you put on your headphones, hit play on your favorite playlist, and within moments, you feel a wave of calm washing over you. That's the power of music. It's like a switch that can instantly alter your mood, making you feel happier, calmer, and more relaxed. But it's not just about the feel-good factor. The benefits of music go beyond just making us feel good, Studies have shown that music can actually improve our cognitive performance. It can boost our memory, improve our focus, and even enhance our problem-solving abilities. And the best part? You don't need any special skills to reap the benefits of music. Whether you're a seasoned musician, or someone who can't tell a C note from an E, all you need is an open mind and a pair of ears. You can listen to music while you're working, while you're exercising, or even while you're just relaxing at home. Now you might be wondering, what kind of music should I listen to? Well, the answer is simple. Listen to what makes you happy. Whether it's classical, rock, pop, jazz, or even heavy metal, as long as it lifts your mood, it's doing its job. So, next time you're feeling low, tune into your favorite tracks and let the music do its magic. You'll be surprised at how quickly your mood can turn around. Just remember, it's not about what you're listening to, it's about how it makes you feel. So keep your mind open, your ears sharp, and let the music take you on a journey of joy, peace, and mental well-being. So next time you're feeling low, tune into your favorite tracks and let the music do its magic. Coming in at number 2 with 39% is the brain-stimulating activity of solving puzzles. Now, you might be wondering, how can something as simple as solving puzzles impact your mental health? Well, the answer lies in the unique way puzzles challenge our brains. When we solve puzzles, we engage in a kind of mental gymnastics, our brains are put to task, working out different strategies to reach a solution. This process, as it turns out, is an excellent workout for the mind. It boosts brain function, helping us think more clearly and creatively. But the benefits don't stop there. Solving puzzles is also a great way to improve memory. As we piece together a puzzle, we are essentially creating connections between different bits of information. This process of linking and remembering helps strengthen our memory muscles making it easier for us to remember things in the future. Now let's talk about mood. We've all experienced that feeling of satisfaction when we finally find that elusive puzzle piece or crack a tricky crossword clue. 
This sense of accomplishment provides a significant boost to our mood. It gives us a feeling of achievement, a moment of triumph that lights up our day. Moreover, puzzles are a great way to escape the hustle and bustle of daily life. They allow us to enter a state of flow, where we are completely absorbed in the task at hand. This state of deep focus and engagement can be incredibly soothing and relaxing. It's like a mini vacation for the mind, providing much needed relief from stress and anxiety. And the best part? Puzzles are accessible to everyone. Whether you're a fan of jigsaws, crosswords, sudoku, or brain teasers, there's a puzzle out there for you. You can even turn it into a social activity, solving puzzles with friends or family. It's a fun, engaging way to spend time while also boosting your mental health. So next time you're feeling a little low or just need a break, why not pick up a puzzle? Remember, every puzzle solved is a step towards a happier mind. At number 3, we've got the joyful activities of singing and dancing, with 25%. Let's talk about the magic of melody and movement. Can you remember a time when you were singing your favorite song at the top of your lungs or dancing like no one was watching? Chances are you felt a sense of joy, liberation, even euphoria. That's the power of singing and dancing. These activities are not just fun, they're therapeutic too. They have the ability to transport us to a state of bliss, melting away stress and anxiety. Picture this. You're belting out a tune in the shower or grooving to a catchy beat. In that moment your worries seem to fade into the background, don't they? That's because singing and dancing are forms of emotional release. They allow us to express feelings that we might not otherwise be able to articulate. But the benefits don't stop there. Singing and dancing can also boost our happiness levels. They trigger the release of endorphins, our body's natural feel-good chemicals. These endorphins act as mood elevators, giving us a natural high. Who needs a pick-me-up when you can just sing a happy song or bust a move? Beyond personal joy, singing and dancing can foster a sense of community. Think about it. When we sing in a choir or dance in a group, we are part of something larger than ourselves. We share a rhythm, a melody, a collective experience. This shared experience can create a deep sense of connection and belonging, contributing to our overall well-being. The beauty of singing and dancing is that they're accessible to everyone. You don't need to have the voice of a pop star or the grace of a ballerina to reap the benefits. It's all about letting loose and enjoying the moment. So don't be shy. Sing out loud or dance around your room, your mind will thank you. At fourth place with 24%, we have the classic creative activities of drawing, painting, and sculpting. Now these are activities that have been around for as long as humanity itself. Drawing, painting, and sculpting are ways we've been expressing ourselves for centuries, and they're still as relevant today as they were in the days of the cavemen. When we draw, we're not just creating images on paper, we're expressing our emotions, our thoughts, and our ideas in a tangible form. We're making our inner world visible to the outside world. This act of expression can be incredibly therapeutic. It allows us to release pent-up emotions, to confront our fears and anxieties, and to articulate our hopes and dreams. Drawing, painting, and sculpting also require focus. They demand that we pay attention to details, to the lines and shapes and colors that make up our creation. This focus can be a form of meditation, a way to quiet the mind and escape the pressures of the world. It can help us to be present in the moment, to be fully engaged in what we're doing. And in a world that's constantly vying for our attention, this ability to focus can be a real boon for our mental health. And let's not forget the sense of accomplishment that comes with completing a piece of art. Whether it's a simple sketch or a complex sculpture, every finished work is a testament to our creativity and perseverance. It's a reminder that we can create beauty and meaning, that we can bring something new and unique into the world. And that can give us a real boost of self-esteem and confidence. In a nutshell, drawing, painting and sculpting are not just about making art. They're about expressing ourselves, focusing our minds, and feeling accomplished. And all of these can contribute significantly to our mental well-being. So, if you've never tried these activities before, why not give them a shot? You don't have to be a Picasso or a Michelangelo to benefit from them. All you need is an open mind and a willingness to explore your creativity. Unleash your inner artist and let your creations contribute to your mental well-being. Crafting, at fifth place with 19%, is another activity that can boost your mood. Crafting is a broad term that encompasses a plethora of activities. Be it knitting a cozy scarf, beading a beautiful necklace, or assembling a DIY birdhouse, the act of creating something with your own hands is a powerful experience. It's not just about the end product, it's about the journey, the process, and the fulfillment that comes with it. Engaging in crafting activities can be a great stress buster. 
As you focus on your project, your mind gets a break from worrying thoughts. It's almost meditative, allowing you to be present in the moment, concentrating on the task at hand. The repetitive motions in activities like knitting or embroidery can be soothing, helping to reduce anxiety and induce a sense of calm. Crafting is not just good for stress reduction, it also aids in improving cognitive abilities. It requires concentration, precision, and problem-solving skills. For instance, when you're crafting a complex piece of jewelry, you need to figure out the sequence of beads, or when you're building a model, you need to understand the instructions and assemble the parts correctly. These activities stimulate your brain, keeping it active and sharp. Moreover, crafting provides a sense of achievement. There's a special kind of satisfaction in looking at a finished product and knowing you've created it. This feeling of accomplishment can boost your self-esteem and happiness. It's a tangible evidence of your creativity and hard work. Don't worry if you're not a crafting expert. The beauty of crafting is that it's not about perfection, it's about creativity and enjoyment. You can start with simple projects and gradually try more complex ones as you gain confidence. Remember, it's your creation, and there's no right or wrong in it. Crafting can also be a wonderful way to express yourself. Each piece you create is a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, and personality. It's a form of self-expression that can be therapeutic and rewarding. Whether it's knitting, making jewelry, or DIY projects, crafting can be your path to a happier mind. Last but not least, with 16%, we have the introspective activity of creative writing. Creative writing is an extraordinary tool that opens up a world of imagination and self-expression. It's not just about creating stories or poetry, it's a powerful medium to express your emotions, your thoughts, and your worldview. You are the artist and words are your canvas. The power of creative writing lies in its ability to help you process your feelings and thoughts, to give voice to your inner world and in doing so to understand yourself better. When you write, you dive deep into the realm of your emotions, surfacing with words that resonate with your innermost feelings. It's a therapeutic process akin to having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with yourself. It's a space where you allow yourself to feel, to be vulnerable, and to be honest. By expressing your feelings through writing, you're not just acknowledging them but also understanding them better, which is a significant step towards emotional well-being. Moreover, writing is not just a solitary act of self-expression, it's also a powerful means of communication. You learn to articulate your thoughts in a clear, concise, and creative manner. It's an ongoing dialogue with your readers, a chance to share your perspective and to influence others. It's an opportunity to make a difference, to inspire, to provoke thought, and to create change. Lastly, creative writing fosters a positive outlook. When you write, you create. You build worlds, you shape characters, you weave stories. It's a process that taps into your creativity and imagination. It's a process that is inherently positive and optimistic. It's a process that reminds you of your potential, your capabilities and your resilience. It's a process that fuels hope and encourages a positive perspective. So let's not underestimate the power of putting pen to paper. Let's not overlook the influence of words. Let's embrace the magic of creative writing. It's a journey of self-discovery, a journey of expression, a journey of communication, a journey of positivity. It's a journey that can contribute significantly to your mental well-being. So, grab a pen and let your words weave the magic. There you have it, six creative activities that can boost your mood and contribute to your mental health. We've journeyed through the harmonious world of music, navigated the complexities of puzzles, basked in the joy of singing and dancing, immersed ourselves in the colors of drawing, painting and sculpting, discovered the charm of crafting, and explored the depth of creative writing. Each of these activities, according to a recent poll by the American Psychiatric Association, has been linked to maintaining good mental health. 71% of participants who reported very good or excellent mental health were found to engage in creative activities more often. So, it's not just about feeling good in the moment, but also about fostering long-term mental well-being. Remember, creativity isn't just about making things, it's also about making the day better. So keep creating.